Welcome to Top Corner, a weekly show where we bring you compilation of sport news, reviews, and headlines of top stories. I am Emmanuel Kengi. Thank you for joining us. Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain have both won their league title. Bayern Munich, after beating Borussia Dortmund 3-1, opening a 12-point lead at the summit of the table last Saturday, secured the German top flight title for the 10th successive time. Paris Saint-Germain, meanwhile, were booed by their fans despite bagging the Ligue 1 title with four games to spare. Chelsea legend and Côte d'Ivoire striker Didier Drogba has fallen from the race of becoming the president of the Ivorian Football Federation. After finishing third in the election held last Saturday, it's a welcome development anyways, seeing ex stars rising to the post of becoming leaders in their various countries, as Samuel Elto is doing a very great job with the Cameroonian Football Association. The Champions League was packed with action as Man City etched out Real Madrid in a seven-goal thriller at the Etihad. The scoreline could have been 8-3 had Man City been their usual self and not squander most of their opportunities with the tie ending 4-3. With a return fixture set for the Santiago Bernabeu when Madrid will be hoping to turn it on its head and advance through the final round. Liverpool, meanwhile, made light work of Villarreal as they won 2-0 in Anfield for the first leg. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has admitted that the current situation of the club is having a negative impact on the club. This is due to the sanction placed on the club by the government and he hopes that a new change in the ownership will bring a relief to the club. Nigeria international Umar Sadiq has refused to rule out a return to Serie A giant AS Roma. Omar is currently enjoying a scoring form in his present club, Almeria. He said he needs to focus on his career and returning back to AS Roma in the future will not be a bad idea. On Thursday afternoon, Mino Riola sent a message to his followers on Twitter about his health condition. The football agent condemned the previous news going on on social media about him being dead and his friend close friend Jose Fortis Rodriguez has confirmed that Mino is still alive. Jordan Klopp on Thursday evening announced in a video posted to Liverpool Twitter account that he has signed a new contract with the club which will run till 2026. His previous contract was due to expire in 2024. Let's see what this means for Mo Salah, the Egyptian who is yet to pen down another new contract for the club despite attracting interest from clubs all around Europe. In the European semi-final, West Ham fell 2-1 to Frankfurt and Leipzig beats Rangers by one goal to nothing. Both games still very open as the second leg will be played next week, Thursday. In the Europa Conference League, Marcel was beaten 2-3 at home by Frenard while Roman and Leicester play a 1-1 draw. Now let's move to tennis. Former world number one Gavin Muguruza has opened up about a return from the injury at the Madrid Open this week and despite her being eager to start, she always felt pressure playing in Madrid. Lastly, let's talk basketball. The 2021-2022 Los Angeles Lakers will go down as one of the loudest failures in NBA history, even worse. Their 33 win campaign marks the culmination of a voluntary two year roster overhaul following the utmost validation of successful roster building. An NBA championship achieved by a team with depth, a mix of old and young, two defined stars. Thank you for joining us on the show today, Top Corner. See you next week.